chimpanzees are our closest living relatives. Yet, we've let them get perilously close to extinction. Chimpanzees face a variety of threats. One is that the very habitat that they live in, the forest, is being destroyed. When I began in 1960, there were at least one million chimpanzees right across to West Africa. And today, no more than 150,000 at most. The threats to the chimpanzees have been uh, these uh, agricultural practices that have been devastating to, to the forest, where clear cutting actually takes place. Uh, we've had uh, mining and uh, logging to take place, and this is destroying the habitat of the chimpanzee. Logging companies are coming in to get lumber and other natural resources. They're building roads, roads into the forest that enable poachers to come in and kill chimpanzees for bushmeat. That, that's another threat, is the fact that there are many people in Africa and elsewhere who eat bush meat. That's uh, wild meat, like chimpanzees, gorillas, but there's actually quite a wide range of bush meat. Over the years, the poaching has become even more brutal. In the old days, no respectable hunter would shoot a mother with a baby because it's like laying the goose that lays the golden egg. But now mothers are shot. so. As a result of, of this, the um, babies are being sold beside the cut-up bodies of their mothers in the market. I received a radio call, you know, rushed to town, there's been a tragedy, and found that the authorities had confiscated six tiny infant chimps from poachers. Looking into the face of this baby chimp that had been you know, obviously ripped off of its dead mother's belly. Um, just clinging to life, you know, so, so, so sad. Chimpanzees have been on the International Endangered Species list since 1975, yet their numbers continue to decline. It's been estimated that chimpanzees cannot survive more than 15 to 20 years unless we do something right now. There's absolutely no time to waste. Once I realized the plight of the chimpanzees, how they're disappearing in Africa, then I realized I have to leave the forest and I have to come out into the world and work on conservation efforts to save these close relatives of ours from extinction. The Jane Goodall Institute depends on your generous contributions to ensure that chimpanzees continue to have a safe haven. Please consider donating to the Jane Goodall Institute today. Please join us. You can make a difference.